Very interesting information here. Tesla have said that for self-driving version 14, they are bringing over some robo-taxi features to full self-driving for your EV. So what are these robo-taxi features and what will be the benefit to them? That's a question that I'm going to try and figure out and answer in this video. But also Tesla say that cars with hardware three, so the old generation of Tesla's hardware, they are going to get updated with a what they're calling a full self-driving version 14 light kind of like a, a not quite as good as version 14 for self-driving. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. A Tesla engineer has shared details on full self-driving version 14's robo-taxi style camera cleaning. This is one of the big criticisms of cameras, it's particularly cameras alone. They get dirty, bugs get on them. And I can tell you now when this happens, in all models of EV, they suck in terms of when bugs splutter all over the cameras. Yeah, they don't really work very well anymore at what they're intended for. And I've had this happen to be in a Tesla's, I've had it happen to be in x -Bangs. Various different models really struggle with um, getting dirt on the cameras. Tesla's version 14 of full self-driving, 14.1.3 launched this week. And it's got some robotaxi features in the package. This time, Tesla has included the updated camera-focused windshield cleaning. So a little bit different here to the camera issue I was talking about. Obviously, Tesla's cameras have the ability to wash themselves now on the front of the car. But initially de developed for the robotaxi fleet, Tesla's windshield cleaning helps to ensure the windshield area in front of the cameras is clean. And this actually matters as well. The release notes for version 14.1.3 state automatic narrow field washing designed for rapid and efficient front camera self-cleaning and optimized aerodynamics wash at higher speeds. Unlike traditional wiper cycles that try to clear the entire windshield, this system targets the camera area with fluid and multiple wiper swipes to help clear debris like bugs, dirt, or road salt. By targeting the camera area specifically, Tesla can wipe the crucial area many times if needed, while also clearing the rest of the windshield with a regular number of wipes. The front-facing cameras only see out of a small area of the windshield that's roughly about three inches by five inches. So any debris or smears in this area can really affect Tesla for self-driving's performance. Makes it quite a big difference. We as humans can look around a small smear on the windshield caused by a bug that kind of an issue, that kind of problem can severely affect full self-driving more so than us. Now, of course, having you know 11 cameras on a car is much better than a human being having only two hours at the front, even though we can swivel our head around, but still dirty cameras can be a big issue. Tesla's AI engineer, Yun Ta Sai, chimed in on X and shared some engineering background on this feature. He said that to clean the camera area properly, Tesla needed to keep a large amount of water in the area while performing multiple cleaning swipes. Tesla conducted wind tunnel tests to study fluid dynamics at various vehicle and wind speeds, this is interesting, before arriving at this particular solution. Not a Tesla app says that Tesla Vision decides when to perform the cleaning wipe so that the cameras aren't partially blocked in a crucial situation. I mean, you wouldn't want to do a cleaning wipe when you're trying to change lanes, for example, and there's traffic around you. Sai discussed the windshield wiper fluid with blue dye that Tesla uses in newly delivered vehicles, saying the dye helps leak check the washer system. Once drained, users can fill it with a mix of distilled water and ethanol, methanol, depending on their climate for optimal cleaning. So that's the, the key issue here, filling it with a mix of distilled water and ethanol or methanol, which is highly flammable, but with water, it's not flammable. So that's actually going to clean your cameras much better than just water alone. Keep that in mind. Of course, high quality washer fluid mixes are actually in this mix. So if you buy washer fluid rather than putting water in your own washer tank, it's actually going to be better because it includes either ethanol or methanol. Interestingly though, Tesla's vehicle manuals actually recommend against using fluids with additives like Rain X washer fluid, as that can cause your wiper blades to skip across your windshield and um, not work properly. My solar and batteries, I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here, 
and I've got a big solar array. So I pay zero dollars for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. This feature is available in all versions of full self-driving version 14 and will arrive on hardware three vehicles, says not a Tesla app, in Tesla's V14 Lite, which is scheduled to arrive next year. When next year? I don't know. But yeah, Tesla's V14 Lite is said to be, well, Tesla have said they're not giving up on full self-driving for version three hardware systems. And I think that's a bit ridiculous. What do you guys think? Anyhow, full self-driving version 14 for hardware four in a lot of RoboTaxi full self-driving features, it's merged features, right? And this is one of those features that have been merged. As Cy noted on X, this system is the result of mind-boggling coordination validated through rigorous testing. Mind-boggling. He's um, sounding a bit like Elon Musk, isn't he? For enthusiasts and investors, it's a small look into the robust systems powering Tesla's autonomous future. Now, guys, I've had um, interesting comments online with sort of an argument with a couple of people lately where they say Tesla is never going to solve full self-driving with cameras alone. Now, a lot of people seem to believe this. A lot of people say that it's impossible that Xpeng and Tesla with their vision-only systems will never solve full self-driving. It's just never going to happen. Um, what do you guys think? I personally don't think I can say for sure if Tesla will or not. I think they probably will, but I can't say for sure. There's no really way of saying definitively what the outcome will be in the, in the long run. What do you guys think? Let, let me know on that in the comments. I'm kind of intrigued to hear what everyone else thinks on this. Thanks for watching.